Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Redden and today we're going to make a heart-shaped chocolate box for Valentine's Day. To make a heart-shaped box, firstly you're going to need a container that is a cylinder shape with straight sides going up and down and we're going to use that to draw the template of our heart. So get a blank piece of paper, put it on your paper and trace around the circle just over halfway round and then move it over to make the second bump on the top of your heart and trace around that. Then take a ruler and draw a line straight down the middle of your heart and then on your sides draw to the point of the heart up to one side and repeat that on the other side. Now we're going to use this to measure how long our sides need to be in chocolate. So take another piece of paper, wrap it around your cylinder and then bring it out right to the point of the heart and make a mark where that comes to. So that's how long the side of our box needs to be. How wide you make it will depend how deep your chocolate box ends up being. I only want it to be fairly shallow so I'll just make that line there and so you want to cut out two sides in this shape so you need to cut out that template out of some plastic. When you're cutting out your rectangles use a ruler and a knife to make sure that you get it exactly straight. I'm cutting through both layers of plastic at the same time here so that both sides of the heart are exactly the same size. Then take some more plastic and cut around your heart shape the template that you made now if you want your lid to be slightly bigger than the box you can always cut around slightly larger than the template. Then place your strips onto some non-stick baking paper and take your cylinder and cover it tightly in aluminium foil. Now you have to use tempered chocolate. It will melt at room temperature if it's not tempered. I've done a video explaining how to temper chocolate and what chocolate to use for chocolate decorations and chocolate boxes. I'll put a link on the description below this video. Spread your chocolate over your rectangles and then carefully lift them up and put them on a clean part of your baking paper. Do that with both of them and then clear a space in the middle or use a clean sheet and bring your cylinder and roll the baking paper with the chocolate in between it over until it's rolled just over halfway around the circumference of your cylinder. Put something there to hold that in place and then we're going to leave that to set. Once it's set, spread some more chocolate on your non-stick baking paper in an area that's bigger than your heart shape needs to be. Remove the cylinder and carefully take the foil off the chocolate and then peel off the plastic from the outside. Then place one of those halves on your chocolate base. Then take your other half and using a knife put some chocolate down the join at the top and the bottom of your heart and then put that into position. What we're going to do is let that chocolate firm up a bit and then run a knife around the edge of the heart shape and then leave it to set completely. Once it's set you can just carefully move away those pieces of chocolate that are excess on the base. To make the lid take your heart shaped plastic template and cover it in the same colour chocolate or you can use white chocolate or milk chocolate if you want to contrast and then do as you did with the sides just lift it up and move it to a clean place on the baking paper. Allow that to set completely and then you can either leave the lid plain or if you want to decorate it you can add candies by just putting a bit of chocolate on the back of it and putting them on top or you can take some more of your chocolate and colour it. You need to use either oil based colours or powdered colours because if you use the liquid colours it will cause the chocolate to seize. Mix it around with your chocolate and then I've just cut the corner off a Ziploc bag and put stripes of a contrasting colour on top of this one to make it a bit more interesting. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to How to Cook That and clicked like on the videos and shared them with their friends. Don't forget to watch those other videos on what chocolate to use and how to temper chocolate. I'll put the link in the description below this video. Happy Valentine's Day.